we all know about uh, Kirkpatrick's model, the four levels. So first one where we say, you know, the evaluation has to be done at a reaction level. That is how did the participants respond to the training? Second is about the learning. How much did they learn from the training and have their skills improved? Third is about the behavior. How did the behavior of the user change after the training? And finally, it is the results which every organization is interested in. So that is uh, the key that every organization looks at. You know, what, what is the result of the training? How is it impacting or how did it benefit me? So we, we do implement uh, learning analytics for a lot of our customers. And I would like to share a case study of how this was done for one of our customers at different levels. So at a reaction level, we had the learner rate the training that they were taking, you know, on, on a scale of five. So they could choose between five stars. And then there was also a feedback or a survey at the end of each uh, module with a series of questions. So they were supposed to, you know, to uh, choose an answer there and give their feedback, some open ended, some close ended questions. At a learning level, we gave them a pre and a post assessment. So before getting into the training, no matter what format it is, whether it is your online training or your classroom training, we had the users attend a assessment first and then their scores were tracked after which they were sent to the training. And after the training, they were asked to come back and take the same assessment again. So you can see the key here is giving them an assessment pre training and then giving them the same assessment post training. So what happens here is, you know, their scores before the training and the scores after the training and the improvement in that is exactly what shows you the amount of learning that has taken place there. Thirdly, for behavior, we had the 180 degree review system integrated as part of their human resource uh, you know, information system. So we had the employee themselves also rate and give a, a review for themselves while we also had the supervisors or the managers who directly deal with them on a day to day basis also rate them and review them. So this gave a very holistic picture of how did the behavior of the learner change after the training as compared to before the training. And last but not the least, like I said, which uh, most of the organizations are interested in is the results. And especially this case study is is for the sales staff that was uh, developed. Therefore, the individual sales review and contribution was uh, taken into picture. So there were uh, you know, reports that were generated to see the amount of sales in terms of quantity and quality that <clears throat> every individual sales guy contributed to to the organization. And how did that increase before and after the training? You know, the, the, the way they were uh, meeting with the customers, negotiating with the customers, handling objections. So all of these were considered when the learning analytics was being being set up for uh, for this very customer from the pharma company industry. Sorry. So uh, today we have a lot of LMSs that help us record all of this information, some basic to some very, very complex. And you can use this information from the LMSs to even, you know, uh, track what people have been doing on their mobile devices or offline learning as well. So these platforms help you bring them back to the system when they come back online. So it's, it's all about uh, knowing what your platforms, what your applications are capable of doing and then putting out a plan in terms of how do you execute and get that data and analyze that data.